Some examples of the sighthound group are Saluki, Greyhound, Borzoi, Afghan Hound, and the Irish Wolfhound. Artificially selected for the job of hunting, sighthounds originated in Africa and were developed in ancient Egypt and the Middle East. They're one of the oldest groups of specialized dogs. They were the first group of dogs to be refined for their incredible ability to perceive prey at a distance and remarkable speed at acquiring it. They developed uniquely narrower skull shapes due to the selection for increased peripheral vision, scanning sensitivity for movement. You might fall in love with a sighthound because they're elegant. They're naturally inclined to appreciate the finer things in life, like warmth and comfort. They're also reserved, generally quiet and calm and unobtrusive and stoic. Their affection and play can also be delivered with grace, passion, and sincerity, even if they are reserved. You might, however, find a sighthound hard to live with because they can be sensitive. They're not cut out for harsh conditions, great endurance, invasiveness, or rough play. They're also a flight risk. They have a keen eye for prey and the instincts to hunt it down with sudden swiftness. They're also self-directed. Doting on you or following your directions, particularly come, is often not their top priority. So you might find yourself seeking professional help for predatory behavior towards other animals, not coming when called, their independent nature regarding your directions and requested obedience, discomfort with small children and sudden invasiveness of personal space, and occasional wariness of strangers or protectiveness of territory and family. If you're going to enter into a relationship with a sighthound, remember not to take their design for granted. Their passion for independent hunting and sprinting after critters are simply in their DNA.